Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest ViewGen and LoadRunner Professional releases. First up, this release includes a new ViewGen protocol, Cloud for AWS. With this protocol, you can create vUser scripts to monitor Amazon SQS. You then view the collected data and dedicated graphs in controller and analysis. When running an SAP GUI script, you can now set the SAP client to remain open after encountering an error. You can also set the client to relaunch automatically if it crashes during the script run, so that replay can continue. Web protocols now support server-side compression in Broadly format. Broadly compression is accepted for both recording and replay. Next up, DevWeb now supports the multiple IP feature when running tests on LoadRunner products. When enabled, vUsers running on a single load generator are identified by many IP addresses. Also, there are new DevWeb APIs to control IP assignment. There's now an automatic reconnect function applied during load tests. This is used for load generators that become temporarily disconnected from the network. After LoadRunner Professional reconnects to the load generator, it continues running the test. For manual scenarios that use the Buy Number option, you can now distribute multiple load generators to vUser groups. This works in the same way as the percentage mode. The load generators assigned to the groups are distributed sequentially or in round-robin format. And finally, chaos testing now includes an option to continue on error. This directs the scenario to continue running when there's an issue with a scheduled disruption event. Check out the help centers to learn more and enjoy the new product releases.